Welcome back, Rankers. A couple of stories this week from Google's senior engineer, Matt Katz. Many who've watched this show before will know him, and if you're into search engine optimization, you really should follow his uh, video blogs and also his blog. A couple of interesting videos this week, which isn't unusual for Matt, I might add. The first one was about uncrawled URLs in the search results. And basically what Matt is talking about in, in this video is that Sometimes you may have a reason to block certain pages from the search engines. You, basically, you don't want them appearing in the search results. Things like maybe a privacy statement it would be one, uh, login areas of the site would be another, things that absolutely have no, no ranking value for, for, um, for you whatsoever. And the way that you would typically block search engines from certain parts of the site is by putting in what's called your robot.txt, which is just a small file that sits on your web server that tells the search engine robots what they can and can't look at. And what Matt's talking about here is that sometimes you will still see URLs that you may have blocked appear in the search results. And the reason for that is, is that, and this is interesting when it comes down to anchor text as well, the reason for that is, is that there may be links to that page with really relevant anchor text in the link to that page. So, for instance, say um, uh, we had a link to our privacy statement which said Stuart Media Privacy, that was maybe the, the link. And then maybe you went and did a search on Stuart Media Privacy. Well, that would be a relevant page that has been linked to that would appear in the results, even though we might have blocked it from robots.txt. And all that Google will display, though, in that situation is the actual link to the page. It won't actually go and crawl the page, so it will honour your robots.txt, but it will display a link to the page that you've blocked saying that basically we think this is a relevant result, but we can't put a snippet of information in here like we do with all these other pages because we actually haven't been to the page. And you'll also notice here too, um, most pages will have a cached link in the results of the, of the Google search results. These sorts of pages don't. Now, what I find particularly curious about this result, pointed out to me by Samith, our head of production and senior techie, is that it's Yellow Pages. Now, some of you may, have, may remember that last year Yellow Pages um, told all their database that they should advertise with Yellow Pages Online now because Google is now crawling Yellow Pages Online and you're going to get found in Google because you're listed in Yellow Pages. And at the time I said, well, why don't you just take that money? spend it on your own website, which you control, and get your own website ranked. And what's curious now is that we're looking at this and we're seeing that, well, is this page actually blocked in the search engine results? So what we did is we went to the yellowpagesrobot.txt file, you'll see up here, yellowpages.com.au forward slash robots.txt, anyone can go and look at this. And this basically says, look, here's the user agent, and the asterisk here means all user agents, so all search engine robot, robots, cannot look at these things here. Then we get down to here and it says the Google bot for mobile 2.1 also cannot look at anything. Yahoo cannot look at anything. MSM bot for mobile cannot look at anything. Now these, I'm, I don't know about the Yahoo Seeker one, I'm assuming it might be a mobile bot though, but it looks like Yellow Pages is, is blocking all the search engine robots that have anything to do with mobile devices. I don't know, maybe, maybe Yellow Pages has a competing mobile product. Who knows? Um, but uh, I would say that's the case. But what's interesting is, is that it seems to be happening here as well, because this page Google definitely has not seen, because there is no cache link. They're only displaying the link here. And it means the bot hasn't been to the page, but it has been linked to, and Google has found the link to, it, to that page. It just so happens that um, also our senior staff member, Samath, owns this directory here, and we do encourage our employees to have other activities, uh, online activities outside of the office, so they can bring what they learn back into the business. But um, he runs this directory, which is basically a business directory where you can go and get a free listing uh, in his business directory. And he was curious when he saw this link up here with Yellow Pages, given Matt Cutts's video this week. The other video you should watch this week from Matt Cutts is one on uh, Google co uh, Comment Spam for blogs. Uh, for those of you who saw the show earlier this year, uh, we're seeing a, a growth in 
uh, reputable, so-called reputable agencies going out and spamming blogs. And this is why you shouldn't do it, because everyone else is trying, in the world is trying to stop that, and it doesn't work, as Matt Cutts points out. The reasons that it doesn't work is because Google has spent a lot of money making sure that comment spamming on blogs does not work in the long run. Sure, there are marginal gains to be had if you're really sneaky about it, but in the long run, it's going to come undone, and there'll be always better technology to help weed out the comment spammers. Interestingly, he was asked this question from J-Man from Melbourne, Australia. It's not me. Uh, but watch the show, J-Man, if you're in Melbourne. And that's it for today's show. If you've got a, a site you want reviewed, send it through. Cam's going to do his show tomorrow, and uh, we'll see whether we'll put it up or not. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fantastic. But the uh, he'll also be reviewing sites on the show. So send them in, and if we can help you, we will. And until then, see you next week. Thanks. Bye.